A radiological mass casualty incident has just occurred somewhere in our nation. In order to increase survivability, people exposed to radioactive fallout must be decontaminated as soon as possible to remove radioactive material and prevent continued exposure. Let's follow the movement of casualties from the incident site to arrival at a radiation injury treatment network hospital and consider the timing of this movement to more clearly grasp the decontamination process as well as how and when patients may arrive at your facility. Patient care begins immediately after the incident with first responders in ad hoc medical care located closest to the incident site. Initial decontamination should happen as soon as possible. This could be at a community reception center or similar emergency shelter setting or medical facility. While local responders initiate patient care, the federal medical response known as the National Disaster Medical System would begin in the days following. As part of the National Disaster Medical System process, casualties are triaged and evacuated to hospitals outside of the region for medical care. Prior to evacuation, patients need to be medically stabilized and screened for radioactive contamination. It may be a week to 10 days before patients are evacuated to an RITN facility. Just to be clear, patients should be free of contamination upon arrival to your hospital. However, your facility should conduct radiological surveys of patients before admitting them for care. Not only does this help alleviate staff from concerns of potential exposure to radiation, it also identifies any additional decontamination needs in case something was missed. Since each hospital has different policies associated with decontamination, RITN recommends you ask your center's radiation safety officer or emergency manager to learn more about your facility's plan and capabilities. Radiation is easily detected using a Geiger-Muller counter, which is widely available and should be part of your hospital's contamination screening protocol. Keep in mind that RITN primarily prepares for an incident involving detonation of an improvised nuclear device, or IND. Most radiological contamination from this type of device is external, 90% of which is removed by simply taking off contaminated articles of clothing and washing contaminated skin and hair. Internal contamination, however, is more difficult to remove and may still be found during a radiological survey. Ingestion or inhalation of radioactivity are uncommon and should be minimal in these types of incidents. However, if internal contamination is found, it may require a different treatment including the use of decorporation agents. Hospital toxicologists are knowledgeable in this process. Collection and special disposal of body fluids and patient waste will be required if internal contamination is present. Many medical providers are concerned about the risk of treating patients exposed to radiation, but this risk is very low. Once the initial decontamination is complete, medical staff should be safe while treating these patients, if following the standard precautions such as personal protective equipment or PPE. We hope you feel better informed, confident, and prepared to care for patients arriving from a radiological incident.